This is the map of India. See the position of West Bengal. And here is Mukutmanipur in the border of Bakura and Purulia district. Mukutmanipur is around 72 kilometers away from Bakura railway station. Today in this video, I'll show you the most touristic spot in West Bengal that is Mukut Monipur. It is in Bakura district. We started from our home in Konnogor at 6 o'clock in the morning. On the way, we stopped for breakfast in Kolaghat. Our restaurant is just beside NH6. After having quick breakfast, we are now heading for Kharagpur from where we will take a right turn towards Medinipur. Now we are proceeding for Bakura via Medinipur district. We can also go via Hogli district but we preferred to go via Medinipur. You can see this is the entry gate of Medinipur city. Now we are proceeding through the Shalboni forest area. Deep Sal forest on both sides. It's so green. We now just crossed Gai Ghata. On the board you can see the respective distance of each of the places named. Green paddy fields on both sides. It's looking so beautiful. Next we stopped at a point called Arabari. This Arabari forest area is an upcoming tourist destination now in West Bengal. So after a brief halt at the main point, we are now traveling through the Arabari forest area. We reached at Chandrakona road crossing. You can see the market area of Chandrakona. Actually this is a heart that is a weekly special market. The commodities are sold at usually a lower price. We again took a left turn. From here, we'll proceed for Mukutmanipur via Amlagora. At present, we are passing through Humgar. This is the busy area of Humgar market. In the front, we are heading towards Vikrampur town. On the way, we can again see Sal forest. reached Bikrampur. Next on reaching Shimla Pal, we took a left turn again towards Khatra. This is Khatra road which leads us to our final destination Mukutmanipur. Mukutmanipur is still around 12 kilometers from here. On the board you can see the road in front goes towards Ranibad and on the right it is towards Mukut Manipur. This is a statue of Raghunath Mahato. Chuar Rebellion, also known as Jungle Mahal Movement, was a series of peasant movements between 1771 and 1809 by the tribal inhabitants of the countryside surrounding the Jungle Mahal settlements of Dalbhum, Midnapur, Bakura. Raghunath Mahato was one of the main leaders of the Chuar Rebellion. He led a revolt against the East India Company. It's a quiet area. The roads are very nice. Now we finally reached the checkpoint of Mukutmanipur around 12 pm. 
we are now crossing over the Kongshaboti Dam project. We reached the parking area and after parking the car, we will now see the sightseeing of Mukut Manipur. On my right, you can see it is a walking trail which goes towards the Shonajuri Nature Park. And on the distance, you can see the dam area. Today being a holiday, locals have gathered here at different sites of the forest area and also along the dam area for picnic parties. On the board you can see the different spots are named here. Number 1 Pareshnath Temple, Number 2 the Deer Park which is across the river, Musa Firana viewpoint from where you can get a bird's eye view of the dam and confluence of the Kashai and Kumari river. Locals are selling their commodities. We'll now walk up to the dam to see the different sightseeing spots. Here you can see the police has set a barrier here so that the traffic is under their control. Huge gathering of local people and tourists for the picnic parties. Really it's a nice place for picnic. And this is the dam area. You can see the boats are lined up along the edge on which you can take a ride on the dam water. It's sugar cane juice here, my favorite drink. These are decorating items. On the banner you can see tells us the mode of transport used here by the tourists. You have to visit the different sightseeing with these vehicles only. We hired a Toto which takes around 500 rupees for the package tour here. And on the distance in the left you can see the hills of this area. Mukut Manipur is a village in Bakura district of West Bengal, India. It is located at the confluence of the Kangsabati and Kumari rivers close to the Jharkhand border. The Kongshaboti river or also it's called Kashai rises from Chota Nagpur Plateau in West Bengal. Colorful boat on the dam water. Tourists are taking ride on them. Along the way we are getting views. On my right side it is the dam water and on the left below it is the different villages in this area. And this is our vehicle by which we are traveling here. The road is around 8 kilometers journey towards the confluence. Down on the left we can see a beautiful quiet village. In 1956 a giant water dam reservoir was planned at Mukut Manipur about 12 kilometers from Khatra town. The Mukut Manipur Dam was planned to provide major irrigation facilities to the area of Bakura, Purulia and Paschim Medinipur and also the upper parts of Hooghly. Approximately 2 km from the lake is the Bongogopalpur Reserve Forest, a home for many species of flora. 4 km away from the dam is the ancient town of Ombikanagar, once an important place of pilgrimage for Jains. The road over the dam is around 11 kilometers in length. In the middle, there is a small hillock called Pareshnath Hill where several statues of Jain and Hindu deities are kept in the open air. These statues were recovered during digging while the dam was built. There is another Jain statue lying at the bottom of the Pareshnath. However, a flood has already destroyed most of it. 
The small white building like structures in the water are used for breeding fishes here in this dam water. If we had come through the villages, we could have reached here by car directly. You can see some cars are parked below. This is the Kali temple. And you can see the boat ride association. After a few meters walk, we have reached an area from where you can see the confluence of the two rivers, Ashai and Kumari. There are multiple small islands. Down below, you can see many boats have queued up to take tourists to the Deer Park, which is on the other side of the river, Ashai or Kongshaboti, and this side is the Kumari River. In between the islands there, you can see that is the confluence site of the two rivers. These are the places by which you can take a boat ride. Doldanga, which is uh, very popular, also can be reached by boat. And from here you can view the Poleshnath temple or the Shiva temple on that small hillock. We stopped our vehicle little ahead from here. We'll see the viewpoint Musafirana. Entry fee is rupees 10 and you have to walk initially a flight of 40 steps to reach the viewpoint. It's really a nice location. And in the down below, you can see that was the point from where we started climbing the steps to reach here. We are getting a magnificent bird's eye view of the dam. Flowers have bloomed all around. And you can see the beautiful road which we are traveling now. After seeing the different spots of Mukut Munipur Dam area, we are now going back to the parking lot of our car. Again, we can see the picnic parties all around. The banner in front tells you about the Mukut Monipur Mala, which will be held next week. And in this spot, a weekly hut is held and it is called Kashai Kumari Hut. By this time, we are quite hungry. We'll have a late lunch here. It's around 3.30 p.m. now. After having lunch, we still have some time and we decided to visit Jhilimini. Though time was short, we quickly planned to visit the Lal Jol Caves, which is again a very interesting offbeat spot, 8 kilometers away from Jhilimili. Let us see how we can make it. We are proceeding towards Jhilimili. Lal Jol Caves is definitely in our mind. We are traveling along the remote villages of Bakura. Sun is about to set. While traveling along this road, we are enjoying the local village lifestyle and the nearby forests.
on the board you can see tal beria this is again a new upcoming tourist spot previously i had shown you arabadi and this is tal beria the actual spot is 6 km from here stopped on our way at a place to capture some pictures of these beautiful typical village houses of Bakura. Next we are again heading for Jhilimili to see Laljol Caves also. Finally, we reached the forest office of Jhilimili. By this time, darkness has already set in to see whether we could really make our Laljol cave tour in these dark hours. Subscribe my YouTube channel to see the updates. After seeing my videos, please do like, share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe my channel.